Yeah, I'm pretty religiously intolerant too. Yeah, but I, I guess the thing for me is that it's not like I'm not intolerant of a specific religion, which is probably what this is targeted at in general. I'm just intolerant of religion in general. Uh, well, for me, it's uh, really different. I mean, I have a axe to grind with the Christian religion. Okay. I was raised that way. Um, I went to a Christian school for nine years. I taught Sunday school. My mother was a Sunday school teacher. Um, you know, I went to church every Sunday, um, got really into the church. And I, you know, the, the the religion i just i just feel like i'm um, you know i had a lot of problems with my church there sort of when i was going some rough time in my teenage years and then um I, you know ultimately i just i felt misled you know like yeah. this this community which could have been so great um ultimately was just uh, you know a way to exclude people yeah and you know and i think that probably i started my sort of uh disbelief i guess uh way back when it, it was probably started with christianity because i just happened to live in the united states but um for me i came to the conclusion that the greater poison is the sort of uh really doesn't matter what religion it is it's the sacrifice of one's uh, sense of reason and logic and rationality for belief, essentially saying that I'm not going to investigate the actual reasons for this any further because I have faith. You know, and that's, for me, that's why I get bothered by religion. It's just like, it comes to, and it's the same thing, like that that level of faith is the, the sort of, uh, the same thing that uh, gets people to sort of just... Uh, completely believe conspiracy theories alternative crazy alternative medicine uh they you know ghosts psychics uh whatever 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 they just See, i disagree with you on this subject and we've we've actually gone around on it one one time before is that science has that's what you're you're proposing here is reason and science are superior to religion and science has gotten so bizarre and so um, like physics and you know all this quantum whatever. Well, have um, you ever heard of pseudoscience? Yeah, sure. Um, right. Well, well, pseudoscience is a huge factor in a lot of these other th sorts of things. I mean, sure psychics are, are going to claim like, well, there's an energy field that. Well, but the reason that they can do that is because the, the science is so inaccessible to the average individual. You and I, because most people don't understand the basic core tenets of the yeah they do scientific method. hold on just a no, second they don't. What, what religion does is it provides a um it, it provides a genesis of the world it, you know where do we come from this is a question that people have and religion provides a nice pat answer for that they say well we were uh, we were shaped up out of the land by god and then uh, women came from the rib bone right like there's a pat answer what science's answer is even more bizarre. So, you know, uh, 13 trillion years ago, all matter was concentrated into an area the size of, the soft, of a softball, which was so hot and so uh, powerful that it blew itself apart and created what we have today. But you're talking about a belief in something that came from other scientists. That's, that's a belief in a particular um, doctrine, right? That's a doctrine, right? A, yes. A doctrine of science, okay? And so you can that that's not what I'm arguing. That's you can believe that or not. That's like a set of beliefs that came right, that's from the Big science. Bang Theory, right, right sure, there. That's the Big Bang Theory. And I can tell you that I don't know whether or not the Big Bang Theory is tr true. There's other theories that are out there. And the, right, the people that take it are like essentially that. taking it on faith. But here's what I can say: I can say this. I can say because of the scientific method and the people who are employing the scientific method, I am more likely to believe that than the talking snake theory, because the whole thing behind the scientific method is testing things. And it, and evidence the scientific and method is a great system. Sure. However, you cannot so, explain the origin of the universe currently with it. But you can look at evidence, things like redshift. You can look at tectonic plates. You can look at things that are pointing towards historical evidence. There is not evidence for snakes that talk. Like, that just doesn't exist. There's no talking snake science. Like, there's no, you know, evidence out there for, oh, well... My friend Billy yep. Bob has a talking snake. We'll what show it to you. We're going to put the video on YouTube. Right. Well, you know, what like there is evidence for is for people having spiritual experiences. People say, look, sure. I had this experience. You and can this put is on the God helmet at a lab that bombards your uh, uh, brain with magnetic waves, and they will make you sense that there is a God. You yep. will feel God. You will feel out-of-body experiences. You could fear ter terror. They can magnetize certain parts of your brain and make you, even as an atheist, make you feel like a, a deep sense of connection to another person that's not there. Right. And I'm aware of these uh, the, the fact that you could do these things. I get it. But 
they um, so you can feel this way. People feel this way, and when uh, folks, uh, specifically atheists, choose to minimize and sort of belittle people's experiences, they're never going to get anywhere because people have to know you care before they care what you think. I think you care before they care what you think. And so, I mean, this is the difficulty that, um, you know, many, that atheists have of getting their message across. Which is why, by the way, sometimes I've, when I've had conversations with religious people, I don't claim to be an atheist. I don't start from that point because it's like, shut down. I can't talk to atheists. <laughs> so I claim to be agnostic. Like, oh, I, there's a possibility I might believe in your nonsense. <laughs> you know, that way you can at least have a conversation with you. See, people. and for me, what I did is, is that I realized I'm, I'm never going to be in, in total, total possession of the facts. I'm never going to possibly be in total possession of the facts. And so I tried the whole atheist thing. I came to the conclusion, you know what? I ultimately believe there's a God, and I believe that that God has some kind of interest in what goes on. And I could be right, I could be wrong, I promise not to kill anybody over it, 